Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, September the 10th, entitled, Come to Your Senses. Now, Sunday morning as we talked about God's ability to orchestrate the crazy uh, band, the orchestra that we call humanity, that he is able to make all things come to that purpose, that destination. When we are obedient, obviously, but also When we wander, when we stray, when we walk away in full-on rebellion, that does not keep God from being able to bring about the righteous end. It does affect our lives. It messes us up tremendously. But I think when we discover the incredible love of God, it should draw us to come to our senses, to wake up, to understand the unbelievable love of our Heavenly Father and His desire to lead us, not control us, not manipulate us, but to lead us to health. As we look at the story of the prodigal son, that classic parable that shows the heart of the Father, the son takes his father's blessing, his inheritance, and squanders it until he is in absolute, utter poverty. And then we read this statement in Luke 17, uh, 15, 17. He says these words, When he came to his senses, when he finally awakened to this fact, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare, and yet here I am, starving to death? I will set out and go back to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your servants. So he got up and he went to his father. Now, all of that was probably true. It just wasn't in the father's heart to do that. It says, but while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son. He threw his arms around him. And he kissed him. Why would we not come to our senses? Why if we are wandering? Why if there's that shipwreck in the middle of our life? Do we not come to our senses and realize that our loving Father is there for us? The conductor of humanity wants to bring us back into health. He said, let us have a feast and celebrate. For the son of mine was dead, and now he is alive again. He was lost, and now he is found. And so they began to celebrate. Let's pray. Father, Lord, as you lead, Lord, I am so thankful that you are able to make all things work for good. But Lord, I want to be walking in the center of your presence as a faithful Son, to do so, every one of us has to come to our senses. We have to realize your unbelievable love and our uh, dullness to awaken to the fact that you love us, that you orchestrate everything in our life if we will yield to you. Lord, help us come to our senses so that we will be in the middle of your favor, led by your wisdom, empowered by your instruction and world changers because of the work of the Spirit within us. Bring us to our senses, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I encourage you, come to your senses. Come to your Father. I'll see you tomorrow.